Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. And I know you've been talking about it, Carlene, so it's worth sort of reminding people that counts the areas along the coastline that are getting yes. that marine layer too because those rays do come through. Mm -hmm. Don't be fooled because you see the clouds moving in because the thing is we're talking about coastal low clouds and the marine layer moving in you're still having the sun penetrate throughout the day. So for tomorrow, we have a very high UV index. So it's breaking away from extreme, which it has been for the past couple of days. Mm -hmm. But now we're talking more of a high reading, but you still have to protect yourself. Yeah. And as I said, that time frame of about two to two, or excuse me, 10 to two, or two, about 10 to four. So just protect yourself yeah. <laughs> as we so go right. into your forecast for tomorrow. We are still talking about the sun being around, and we will see some sunshine by the afternoon hours. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few pictures that were sent in by viewers. Now, speaking of sun, this is an infamous green flash. Now, this was sent in by Ron Dixon. So, green flash is when you have the sun takes on kind of a greenish tint due to the refraction of the sunlight, and he took this one. So, if you look closely, you can kind of see that greenish tint. This was taken at sunset in Carlsbad. Also, we have a picture it was sent in a monarch caterpillar. This was sent in by Rob Wood, and this was in uh, San Marcos. Also, another picture sent in, and this is by Bill Hall, gorgeous sunset, which, of course, we're known for here. Taking a look at uh, how you can send me yours, weather at KFMB.com. I would love to showcase them here for our forecast. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, because we were in the 60s earlier today in the evening hours, and that's when we started to feel those cool temperatures. We had daytime highs that were in the 60s and 70s right along the coast, but right now we're at 62 for Oceanside, 61 for Del Mar, also 61 for Alpine, still holding on to heat in Borrego Springs, 90 degrees, and that excessive heat warning is done. Taking a look at those winds, well, still kicking up in the mountains. We're at 17 miles per hour for Julian, but if you take notice of the color change, about 10 to 20 miles per hour right along the desert mountain slopes, and we're having the winds pick up as well as some gusts. And we're also seeing that 12 miles per hour in Borrego Springs with a wind gust, 15 miles per hour for Julian, still seeing that color indication with about 10 to 20 miles per hour with wind gusts in the area. High pressure strong hold on us. We had a mini heat wave as we went into the start of this week. Area of low pressure moving in, that will bring in that marine layer, and so temperatures look to cool as a result with that onshore flow. West winds getting up to about 30, even potentially 40 miles per hour. So I went ahead and set the clock at 530 for tomorrow. That's when winds are anticipated to start to peak as that onshore flow does pick up. So 30 miles per hour in Borrego Springs and staying in the 30s into the overnight hours. So the peak time looks to be about Thursday night all the way into Friday morning. So still holding on to gusts in the 30s uh, right along the uh, mountain slopes and also seeing those winds start to calm down as we hit the afternoon hours around 1 p.m. Keep in mind for tomorrow, if you are going to the coast, your water temperature will be at 63 degrees as I said before, we have a very high UV index for tomorrow and also a moderate risk of rip currents at our local beaches. At the coast, we will have daytime highs more seasonal, and that will take us into the weekend for Father's Day, much the same for the inland valleys, and then also seeing that for the mountains and breaking away from one teens <laughs> yes. for the desert. Oof. It is a break. Yeah, yeah. low 100s will take right. take us into the weekend. It's a break. Something. Thanks, Carly. Thanks, Welcome. Carly. Welcome.